so one thing to also show is um, Stephen Chapman has a pretty good video here. Um, it's basically what I use to figure out how to do this. So I also recommend watching this just as much as well. Um, basically, I'm just going to be doing this video specifically on Mortal Kombat 11. Okay, so Mortal Kombat 11 came out with an update. Now it's detecting cheat engines. And basically it'll just close out the game and tell you that you know the game is not compatible with cheat engine um, basically we're going to go over how to get rid of that behavior patch the exe and use cheat engine to your heart's content more or less because um, i've already tested done this and tested it and even my table still working and all that so not really a huge issue here um but basically what we want to do We'll just go ahead and patch this exe so we're going to want to start with a couple things here Let me go back to this display so let's start off with making a couple copies of our exe here so the first one let's just make it a full-on backup and just call it back so that way in case we screw up we don't have to re-download or verify integrity or do anything like that um, next one is we're going to want to have it ready so this way we can go ahead and patch the EXE. Oh. And then basically the way I'll end up doing is I end up keeping a copy of the patched EXE and then just replace this one. Since we already have a backup anyway, we can even name that original or whatever. Um, I'll probably even rename this just dot original when I go to replace it with patch. Um, so let's work on figuring out what we've got to patch here. So the first thing we're going to want to do is launch um, X64 Debug. And actually make sure you launch the 64-bit version of it. Um, go ahead and attach. And eventually we're going to want to go Debug, Advance, and Run Past Exceptions. There's a few threads that end up stopping, so we, it seems like we've got to sit here and do this a few times. But once we get it full running and everything's going, um, I'm even kind of letting it go back and forth between the fighting animation when you don't, you know, press any buttons and going back into the menu and all that. Um, but once we're fully up and running here, what we want to go ahead and do come in here to the symbols list we're going to want to find the mk11 exe module and go and get these sorted by name or alphabetical order here um, and what we want to find here is get proc address right there Toggle breakpoint and start up cheat engine. Actually, open the wrong one, but that really doesn't matter yet. Um, so we've opened cheat engine. The game has hit this get proc address breakpoint, and so we can go ahead and stop there for a second. Um, what we can see here is this is the one that's actually been stopped we could just go ahead and kill this breakpoint or kill this thread and play it that way but what we want to do here is actually patch the exe um, so we want to go ahead and come in here and get thread entry point um, and make sure because you can kind of see where where we were before we were actually at a, a different spot that has to do with that but we don't want to patch that we want to patch up in here so if we get this thread entry point and this way we can just set it up to where the game will never really launch this thread it'll always just return I think it actually does launch but this will just cause it to return um, 
And the information we're going to want here is we're going to actually want to go ahead and come down here to copy and copy file offset. Once we've done that, um, if you actually launched the right version of Cheat Engine, you could have just left it open. I want to make sure I'm in 6.8.3. But once we get that, what we want to do is we want to actually make sure we open file. And then we want to open that patch DXE. It is 64-bit. And then we actually do want our, our starting point to be zero. It'll take a second for it to load up. Once it does, you should be able to hit that memory view. And we're going to go to address and we're going to paste in that file offset. And basically, you can kind of see there, um, while our addresses are looking very different, where we seem to be in the same block of code. Um, so all we really want to do is just make that a return. Go ahead and hit yes, so it just gives it some no ops. Um, and then we can come back up here to file, save file, and save it as that patch file. Once we do that, we can go and close Cheat Engine. Um, and then this, uh, you can close the game. I just go ahead and close this while it's attached, and it'll automatically close out the game. May not be the best way, but so now we've got our patch DXE, and then our standard DXE, and our backup. Um, let's go ahead and instead of deleting this, let's just make this original. I want to make sure I keep a copy of that patch DXE. So I'm going to make a copy and then just rename that so this way Steam will launch this every time. And now, let me go ahead and get that launched. And I can actually rehook the process and show the game here. But, um, like I said, not a, a whole lot to it. Um, just make sure, like I said, you do create those backups and all that before you get too far, because if you screw up, you can really screw up the game. Um, but as long as you kind of follow along with me there and make sure you suspend that one symbol or set a breakpoint on that one symbol and go from there. Um, so we can see game's up and running now and without opening anything else we can go ahead and just go straight to opening up the cheat table this will load up and as you can see it's not detecting it it's taking it a second longer to attach but we get attached and then we can go ahead and enable main hooks and kind of go from there I didn't really go through testing everything but it does all you know everything gets injected um, but I did notice for sure that the store hook was still working and you know so I'm, I'm willing to pet they didn't actually patch shit they just like Sunbeam was saying they just set up the the DRM software to detect cheat engine which is you know the way they, they're doing it is really quite lame um i don't think i actually have that one enabled with the test yeah so we can see here we're back to purchasing stuff with one time crystal and Um, you may get, uh, there's probably some soft band system, though. I've been hearing some stuff about that, so I, I can't make you any promises on that regard. But use this method at your own risk, but this will let you, to, let you use Cheat Engine with the game without really having to worry about it crashing or anything. Um, well, that's kind of it for this video. I hope you find it helpful, and have a good one.